Shabbat Shalom, B'Shem Hashem, Na'asem and Atzeach. This week's parsha is Vayigash. And it is that glorious reunion of Yosef and Yaakov, the apple of Yaakov, Ah, Yosef, him and his father that loved him so much were reunited. And Yaakov did not want to believe, could not believe. It was hard for him to believe that Yosef is still alive. But it says in Hamishi, right before Hamishi, in the end of ch chapter Memhe 45, that when Yaakov saw the wagons, he became alive again. And Rashi says such a beautiful thing. Why did he say, send wagons that were carried by cows? Because Yaakov, Yosef knew that it would have been almost impossible for his brother, father, his dear father Yaakov, to accept that he's still alive. So he, he gave them a sign. He says, this is the secret sign that only me and my father Yaakov know and this will con compel him and convince him to believe that I'm still alive. Because the last thing Yosef and Yaakov were studying are about breaking the neck of a, young, of a calf if somebody was murdered but that we find in the end of the Torah, in Devarim. So what is Rashi telling us? The commentaries say that really... It was very hard to believe that even if Yosef was physically alive, he would spiritually be the same Yosef, with the same integrity and God-fearing. We talked about this last week. So Yosef said, listen, I still remember the last Torah lesson you taught me, Father. Yaakov said, if Yosef is still involved in his mind, it's ingrained in his heart and mind, the lessons of godliness coming from the Torah, then I can be guaranteed he's still alive. And we see this same idea of how monumental and crucial Torah learning is, is that again in the Parsha, Yaakov sends Yehuda, the king of the Jews, ahead. And Rashi says, why did Yehuda rush to get to Egypt before his brothers? Because he wanted to s start a study hall a house where you intellectually are committed, a yeshiva where they would study the world, word of God, only then Yaakov was willing to move to exile to Egypt. And this is very direct connection to our current events. This week we experienced one of the most glorious sights, outstanding sights, that we, we really are living in Messianic Mashiach times where 90,000 Jews got together to celebrate the finishing of the Talmud. And one of the speakers, the chief rabbi of Belgium, said something from the Shla Kadosh, and that is that the Daf Yomi is so important, I always have been advocating it um, I learned it myself 20 years ago, f not a full cycle, but then started 10 years ago, and I've been doing it every day ever since then. And it's, it's a wonderful thing because every day of our lives needs to be inculcated with Torah. And that is guaranteed where you know hundreds of thousands of other Jews around the world are studying the same page of Talmud. And I challenge all of you, Sunday is the beginning of Berachot, and the chief rabbi of Belgium said something important from the Shalat. We have to imagine for the men, a day without tefillin, a person would be heartbroken because it's poshe Yisrael begufam. By the same token, uh, we should never let a day of our lives go by without Torah. And this is what we read in Uval Etzion. We say, Bechaye olam nata betocheinu. God planted us everlasting life. If you look in the Midrash, in Chazal, everlasting life is the oral Torah. The true, we just, Hanukkah was last week. The true light of the oral Torah is in, the true light of Torah is in the oral Torah. And make no mistake, God has created us with the Yetzahara, the evil inclination that every second is becoming more sinister and conniving. 
The only way to overcome him is what? Through the study of Torah. And one can, just like you need to eat, breathe, every day. The Daf Yomi is this wonderful curriculum which guarantees you learn Torah every day. But it's very important, you know, unfortunately we had a anti-Semitism on the rise. We had a synagogue attacked here in Los Angeles. And our great Chacham, the great Kabbalist Chacham, Eliyahu Netaneli said something important which always has to be brought out. And that is, the Daf Yomi is wonderful, but guess what? The entire Talmud, the last page, Ayin Gimel, ends with this idea that says, Tana Debe Eliyahu Kol HaShoneh Halachot Bechol Yom Muftach Lo Shalom Abba. Whoever studies two Halachot, practical laws of Judaism is going to be guaranteed to go to heaven. So it's very interesting. I was thinking, the Talmud is very theoretical and it's wonderful. There's a lot of arguments. But if you look in the Hakdama to Bir Hagra, the great Rav Chaim Velazhner says the whole Zeperi Kol Limuda Talmud, the fruit and goal of the entire learning of Talmud is to extrapolate and learn all the practical halachot. So we need to do both. We need to learn practical halacha so we can carry it out. And what better, like Rabbi Fran Shlita said, is to look up. There's something called the Ein Mishpat where you can look up all the practical laws that come out of the Talmud because ultimately that's the goal. And it's no coincidence that the last page of the Talmud tells us that we need to learn halacha because Everything we need to do, we need to make it into action, 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 and practical. And I just wanted to end with this beautiful idea that, you know, so many people were interviewed. It was a wonderful program by the Aguda. And unfortunately, those Jews that do not have daily Torah study are worlds apart from those that do. So it's like a train. Dr. Schwartz, our good friend, the president of Aish, said a wonderful thing. He says the Daf Yomi is like a train. Once you get on it and you're committed to attending your daily class or learning it by yourself or listening online, then seven and a half years later, you're going to finish a wonderful goal, which every Jew should be proud of, is to learn Torah. And may Hashem help us to cherish the Torah, not waste the day of our lives. Just like... It, any observant Jew would be heartbroken if he wouldn't say the Shema or pray on a day. Studying Torah is greater and more magnificent than all of them. May Hashem help us to use our time wisely. And like Rav Chaim said, we obviously have to review because it's not only enough to try to learn Shas, but we should try to know Shas. And when we know it and it's engraved in our hearts and minds, then we could carry it out. Like we say in Ahavaraba, Lil Modul Alamed, Lishmor Vela Asot. The ultimate goal is to actually not have the Gemara come in one year and go out the other, but to actually commit to it and carry it out and keep the laws very meticulously and carefully. Have a wonderful Shabbat and don't forget to.